that are really important to help the planet. <coughs> Who wants to help the planet? <coughs> That's right, we all have to do our part because we live here and our families live here and there's only one Earth. So remember, each and every day, we need to do our part to keep our <coughs> planet clean and healthy. I want to introduce you to some of my friends that are going to help me today. Can you please clap for Taylor? And how about John? And last, Robert. Okay, okay, okay. no, 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 that's, that's enough. Okay, a little more, a little more. Recyclables! Actually, uh, 
Um, not sure. Um, well, I, I have this used uh, yogurt container, and um, I'm not sure if you you'll want it. Yeah, well, you know, um, I got a used container. Uh, me and a butter lettuce. Uh, I don't know if you want it, but I sure do like saying the word butter lettuce. What is butter lettuce anyway? I have no idea. Pipe at the bottom landfill, teacher, that sucks up that gas. 
and it turns the gas into electricity. And it turns the gas into electricity. <laughs> it turns the gas into electricity. Oh, right, that's my part. Um, yes, in fact, the Johnson Canyon Waste Facility collects enough methane gas to power over 1,600 local yeah, and that's a lot of electricity for TVs and video games and lights and microwaves and blow dryers and all that good stuff. Okay, and now at the modern landfill we have the stuff that we see and that's the garbage. So the old garbage goes on top of the new garbage and so there we go. And then we have our modern landfill teacher. Okay, um, alright, so that's the end of my, my report. I, I hope you liked it. Um, okay, I'm done.
some of it ends up in the gutter, right near the curb where the hole is in there, and it goes in through there, and the rain washes it down into the ocean. Garbage doesn't belong in the ocean. We don't want to hurt our sea creatures. So remember, never litter. Cycling champion Taylor. Thank you, John, and it is a great day to be here, and what a great day for the premier event, the Recycle Olympic, the Wally Waste Stop. Now, do our finalists have what it takes to be top recyclers? We shall see. Now, let's bring our participants, hailing all the way from Salinas, California. It's Robert. But now with years of experience under his belt from the European circuit, he is a force to be reckoned with. Nice. He's doing good stretching techniques right there. That's good. Don't want to pull a hammy. Oh. Well, now it's time to meet our volunteers. The crowd is about to welcome our two volunteers, Tyler and Marley. Come on up, guys. Join us, here are the rules. Each person gets two turns. They'll be given something, and where they'll decide whether it goes in the trash, recycling, or off to the HHW. That's right, John. The HHW, or also known as the Hazardous Household Waste Facility. I like to go to the one on Sun Street, Salinas, where I recycle all of my hazardous waste. So, electronics, and paint, oil, anything that's too hazardous to go into the trash or recycling bin. Okay, away we go with the first round. Everybody's getting their item. <laughs> looks like, looks like Robert has a, oh yes, I do believe that's a plastic party cup. Ah, plastic party cup, save it for birthday parties. Let's see what he's gonna do with it. Oh, outstanding, Robert has made the correct choice. Plastic party cups are recyclable. Let's see that, in this and replay. Robert's been eliminated. He's about to leave the field. 